Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy Grimm here, and we are doing a spoiler-free review on Trap, a movie directed by M. Night Shyamalan. 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 M. Night Shyamalan. That's a keeper. Trap by M. Night Shyamalan. Okay, now the setting is a live concert, okay? A actual arena concert, which is awesome. Great. And the soundtrack is great. Let's get started with that because I'm sure that's what they intended for us to talk about first while seeing this movie. It is very, very painfully obvious this is a musical theatrical movie. It is not what you came there to see. That is my first instinct of watching the trailer. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, Dad. For Lady Raven. Then you go into watching the movie and you get a hint in a feel for something else. Originally, after seeing this movie, the next time I'm going to catch my first live real reaction on camera on what I think about movies, just so it doesn't escape my head because got a loose brain over here. It's, it's literally rattling around when I move my head like this. It, Ouch. Things just fall out of my head. This movie is a thriller suspense movie. It gave me a hint of Dexter. Anyway, I saw something off about you, Morgan. I should have seen it before. The fake smile, the donuts. You don't even walk like a normal person. You glide like a lizard on ice. It's all a f***ing act, and I ain't buying it. Slash Mission Impossible. I'm gonna walk out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of here. <laughs> I read a damn thing any one of you can do about it. Okay, you have the aspect of someone that is literally hiding who they are from everyone they know. And then they're also getting away with it effortlessly which is also part of Dexter, but Mission Impossible is a good analogy because it's Mission Impossible. Homeboy is trapped in a arena full of people and they have the building surrounded and they have their I's dotted and their T's crossed. Ain't nobody getting out of there. Does he make it out of there? I don't know. You have to see the movie. There are a bunch of cameos. Well, Two very, very surprising cameos. But I'm going to spoil these cameos because they're already up, okay? And they're they're on the web, and you can see who's in the movie. I was uh, shocked. I was very shocked for these cameos because I've never seen Russ in a movie before. Now, if you don't know who Russ is, he was one of the most prominent independent artists out there, meaning he made everything. The beats, the lyrics, everything. He has a team now, I'm sure, but he was one of the most wealthiest independent artists out there, according to Forbes. Now, I know hip-hop. I know rap. The biggest independent artist out there is definitely, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure it's factual, Tech 9 Okay, Tech 9 from Strange Music. Just want to shout him out there. He's a great guy. And then another cameo is Drum Roll Please. Drum Roll Please. Kid fucking Cuddy is in this movie and he is letting his hair and his colors flow. His rainbows are shooting right out of his ass in this movie. It's great. Good, bro. Good job. Be comfortable of who you are. All right. Be comfortable on what you're doing. He was also in a movie called X, uh, which was like a pornographic movie, so to speak. It's like it, it was a very uh, strange, freaky movie that I saw. And there's already two movies that followed after it. I didn't see the other ones, but I'm probably am going to see it because we got a kick out of the first one. Russ and Kid Cudi made cameo appearances in these movies and they were artists themselves, which has me to very much believe that this was not a movie meant to be part of the legacy of movies that were created by Mr. M. Knight. All right. This was not one of those. It was, so to speak, because he is platforming his daughter to take on the name and legacy and bring it further, but not through movies, maybe through acting, but trying to platform her to be a singer. That is what I got from this movie. 
Okay, so the main star was Josh Harnett, okay, and he played a character named Cooper. Josh Harnett, from what I hear, he was a great child actor, okay? He, he started in a lot of things, and then he kind of retired and fell off, and he comes back every once in a while. He did a good job, I believe he did a good job, but there were moments. There were definitely moments where it was like, I wouldn't believe this guy if he was talking. Which means, did he really do a good job? If, if he's telling me he's a firefighter and he's giving me this look, I'm sorry. People just are not that nice in real life, okay? If they're gonna, it just wasn't convincing to me. That's a problem with this movie. It just didn't seem like the actual actors were actors. Like they were not, like when you get a movie made, you want acting to happen. You want people to believe that this is what it's for. But I didn't believe any of it at all, to be honest, 100% honest. The only thing I believed in the movie is that Raven, which was played by the director's daughter, was a singer. And I think that's what this movie was intended to be because they chose a very different scene, which was a concert for a suspense thriller movie like this. They chose a concert and that was a majority of where the movie was held at. And the music was great. It was great music. Okay. I'm not going to take that from you. The movie was eh. So if you want to stream it, stream it. But if you like music, See it in IMAX. Get that IMAX experience for the music, okay? Because it is good music. Um, as far as storyline goes with the music, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to the actual lyrics of the song because it is pop music, and pop music is usually recycled over and over again. So I'm pretty sure you could put it side by side to a Taylor Swift song, and it's probably going to be saying the same thing, all right? That's just my opinion about pop music. That's why they call it pop music. That. This is the direction that they were going with this movie. Look, this is my daughter. She's very talented too. And she's beautiful. Beautiful girl. Beautiful. So you're going big places, doing big things. But this movie, I would not recommend spending your money and sitting down unless you are a music lover like myself. I really, and I don't even like pop music, but I really enjoyed the music that was played during this. And I also enjoyed, regardless of Kid Cudi's appearance in the movie, I enjoyed seeing him in a movie along with Russ. Even though I don't really listen to him like that, it was just cool seeing these people that you don't really see in movies making appearances in movies. The plot was not that complex. Um, as soon as you jump into the movies, just like the trailer, I was hoping that there was a bigger plot twist than what we seen. I was kind of thinking that the plot twist was he's not actually the killer, right? That's what I thought the plot twist was. But he, uh, yeah, let's just say that's, that was not the case. Build up of the character. The character wasn't really there. Like there was moments where you got a glimpse into the life he actually lived outside of this concert scenario, but it wasn't really there. You don't get the full detail of what had happened previously and all that. They kind of hint at it. Maybe I missed it. If there's something I missed, let me know, but I just don't, let me know in the comments. I just don't know. I don't think I seen anything that gave detail about his actual life besides him taking his daughter to the concert and his job. It was more so neighbors talking to him. It was, it was just weird. It didn't make sense to me, okay? If there's something I missed, let me know, but I just don't. Let me know in the comments. I just don't know. I don't think I seen anything that gave detail about his actual life besides him taking his daughter to the concert and his job. It was more so neighbors talking to him. It was, it was just weird. It didn't make sense to me. Okay. Yeah. So my final thoughts on this movie is just, he was trying to promote his daughter. That's what I think. And this is before I didn't read any reviews. I don't like to read. Okay. So I'll ask around maybe, but I'm not reading other people's reviews and coming up with something. So all of this is like just legit from my own experience of watching the movie. Um, if you've seen the movie, let me know in the comments what you think about the movie. I just thought it was a little lackluster. Okay, so I don't remember when the last time we got a movie from M. Night Shyamalan. Okay, and all I remember is Signs. This was not Signs. Um, I wouldn't give up on this director. You know, maybe he was just doing his daughter a favor. Kids are probably nagging him. You don't do shit for me. You don't do nothing for me. You got all this power and blah, blah, blah. And you ain't doing shit for me. And he, she's probably, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make, I'm going to write and direct a movie just for you. Did he write it too? Screenwriter. Yeah, he did. He did write it. 
Yeah, so he probably was just like, all right, I'm doing it. Who knows what this man went through? Okay, but I can't take nothing away. She can sing. She looks good. She looks like she knows what she's doing. And we're talking about his daughter, which is Salika. Salika, I like that name. It's a nice name. She does look like she knows what she's doing. She's singing, blah, blah, blah. If she made these songs, great. You know, uh, keep up the good work. You're doing a great job. But this movie, I'd watch it. If I had nothing else to do, but there's so many movies out there that you could watch, which makes things a lot more impossible to do. But yeah, it it tried. It tried. It did a great job. Try better next time. But it does make me want to watch Signs again because I got to see what is the deal. Why did I like that movie so much? I was horrified for so long. And this director comes back up and I just got to see, was I wrong about Signs? Was I wrong about Signs? Is it just me? Or was Signs just a really good movie? Maybe it was a good movie for the times. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the movie Signs. Uh, But yeah, but that's it for tonight, folks. See you on the next one.